some animals can get a pretty bad rap. Just because they look terrifying doesn't mean that they're gonna kill you in an instant, right? Well, let's take a closer look at 10 terrifying animals you wouldn't want to encounter and find out for ourselves whether they deserve such a bad reputation. Make sure you stay tuned for number one. We just might be looking at the devilish offspring of a malevolent deity. Number 10. The Venezuelan Poodle Moth. Looking equally cute and equally terrifying, the Venezuelan Poodle Moth was thought to be one of those animals that was created by internet hoaxers. Honestly, I don't blame people for thinking it doesn't exist. I mean, just look at it, looking all furry and alien-like. The fact of the matter is, Venezuelan Poodle Moths actually do exist, and it is one of the most recently discovered species of insects, only being discovered and photographed in 2009 by one Dr. Arthur Anker of Kirkston. As the name implies, it is native to Venezuela, but it looks for all intents and purposes like that it will be perfectly at home in Antarctica. Being a new species, not much is known about this insect. Scientists don't even know which family of moth it belongs to. So whether like other moths, the poodle moth poses a danger to humans, nobody knows yet. So as for now, you can look, but please, for all that is good, don't touch. Number 9. The Goliath Tigerfish. When your name is Goliath, you better be one humongous, ferocious, voracious creature. And the Goliath tigerfish definitely lives up to its moniker. A native to the Congo River Basin, the Lulaba River, Lake Upima, and Lake Tanganyika in Africa, it is the largest member of the tigerfish clan, a genus of fierce predators with protruding, dagger-like teeth. The biggest one on record was nearly 5 feet long and weighed 154 pounds, the equivalent of a super welterweight prize fighter and it outclasses other African game fish in speed and power. The Goliath tigerfish is a piscivore, which means it eats mainly fish. With such great size, an adult Goliath tigerfish will eat any other fish that it can overpower, such as a small Nile perch. Locals say it's the only fish that doesn't fear the crocodile and that it actually does eat smaller ones. It has also been known to attack humans in rare instances. It's so lightning quick and forceful that not only will it snap an angler's line, but it will sometimes make off with his or her tackle. No wonder one fishing safari promoter requires clients read a cautionary treatise on the Goliath before agreeing to a fishing trip. Number 8. The Marabo Stork The Marabo Stork is often considered one of the ugliest animals of the planet. Of course, some features such as the bald pink or reddish head with scattered shaggy feathers, the huge massive tapered beak and its ungainly stature make this bird repulsive at first sight. But actually, this gregarious bird is an essential scavenger that cleans the nature of all its waste and carrion, often associated with vultures. Removing carcasses and rotting material often helps avoiding the spreading of diseases. In African folklore, this sickly-looking stork was created by God out of leftover bird bits when he ran out of animal parts, leading to its ungainly appearance. The birds are monstrously huge, standing 5 feet tall with a wingspan that at 10 feet rivals that of the Indian condor. Although it typically maintains a deathly silence, the stork makes occasional grunts with its bib-like throat sac. Its head is bald and it is a hotbed of disease, hosting a range of worm-like parasites. In the bird world, it would win no beauty contest, but hey, it's still a cool bird nonetheless. Number 7. The Long Waddled Umbrella Bird Looking more like a Pokemon rather than a real animal is number 7 on our list. The Long Waddled Umbrella Bird. The name comes from the male of the species. They sport a crest of fine, hair-like feathers that hang all the way over its bill, giving the look of having an umbrella. This unusual species also has an inflatable waddle dangling from the middle of its chest. This long waddle is covered in short, scaly feathers and when inflated looks somewhat like a pine cone. During mating season, the male puts these ornaments into action. Females and immature birds are only half the size of males and the waddle is much smaller or absent altogether. Their diet is composed of insects, lizards, and fruit, especially palm nuts. They regurgitate the larger seeds of the fruits they eat, so are important farmers that help disperse seeds and regenerate the tropical forests where they live. Habitat loss is wreaking havoc on this bird's wild population. Add to that the pension for people to keep them as pets or to be sold to third parties or to be eaten. Ew. The future looks bleak for this unique animal. Unless people get their acts together and start conserving their habitat and, I don't know, go eat a chicken or something? bit easier. Number 6. The Tube-Nosed Fruit Bat Have you ever wondered how Dracchio would look like when he transforms into a bat? This next animal on our list probably would be the thing that you would imagine. Just look at it. Don't tell me that that face doesn't remind you of a blood-sucking cold vampire. 
However, I think you figured out at this point that that is not the case. In truth, humans pose more of a danger to these magnificent creatures than them to us, because as the name suggests, they mostly live on a diet of fruit. The Philippine tube nose fruit bat is listed as critically endangered, facing an extremely high risk of extinction in the wild. They are on the IUCN red list of threatened species. They live in the remaining lowland rainforests of Negros, Cebu, and Cebuyan in the Philippines, where they are known locally as the Bayacan. On Cebuyan, only a small population survives in the hills. The largest population lives on Negros Island, where it now lives principally, perhaps entirely, in a narrow ribbon of forest, usually only a few hundred meters or about 1,000 feet wide, around the shoulders of two mountains in the southern part of the island and two to the north. Number 5. The Shoebill Every day, scientists continue to discover and publish irrefutable links between dinosaurs and birds. This next animal on our list has a look that epitomizes this link like no other modern bird. It looks so, for lack of a politer term, unique. It gained the unwelcome title of the scariest bird in the world. The shoebill, also called the shoebill murder bird for a reason that will be clear in a bit, is native to the marshes of East Africa and your nightmares. This masterful hunter is a reclusive menace to the inhabitants of the land it occupies. Shoebills are naturally shy creatures, so it only follows that scientists know little of their behavior, but what they do know is just downright appalling. When scientists were observing a nesting shoebill, they discovered that it laid two eggs. Like most birds, the eggs didn't hatch at the same time, so in a few days one chick was noticeably larger than the other. The larger bird was not only favored by the parent, but it also viciously pecked at the smaller chick until the bird was driven from the nest to shrivel in the sun and pass away, hence its morbid moniker. Number 4. The Naked Mole Rat Naked mole rats, their name suggests, are pink, nearly hairless subterranean rodents. These surprisingly long-lived animals are one of the only true e-social mammals and live in underground burrows in eastern Africa. E-social meaning they don't really behave like most mammals, and, well, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. Either way, they live rather like insects. They live in communities like those of many insects. Several dozen rats live together in colonies led by one dominant rat, the queen. As in some insect species, the queen is the only naked mole rat female to breed and bear young. Worker animals dig the burrows that the whole clan inhabits, using their prominent teeth and snouts. They also gather the roots and bulbs for the colony to eat. All this happens while other rats tend to the queen. Aside from living like insects in the way it looks, there are also quite a few weirder things about this creature. For one, they can move their front teeth independently from each other, allowing them to move much like chopsticks. They also don't need to drink water. They get all their moisture needs from their 100% planned diet. Number 3. The Frilled Shark The Frilled Shark is a strange, prehistoric-looking shark that lives in the open ocean and spends much of its time in deep, dark waters far below the sea's surface. Its long, cylindrical body reaches lengths of nearly 7 feet, and its fins are placed far back on the body. The frilled shark gets its name from the frilly appearance of its gill slits, and yes, the fact that it looks like a giant swimming sperm from hell doesn't escape me. Although they don't look like it, they are very active predators. They usually lunge at their prey and then swallow them whole, even the big ones. Their preferred prey is squid, and they have several rows of long teeth, each with three long points. These teeth are perfect for snagging the soft bodies of this prey. And although they're sharks, they swim like no other shark you've seen before. Their serpentine swimming pattern makes them more like eels rather than sharks. They're rarely seen in the wild, and what scientists know today only comes from carcasses that are accidentally hauled by fishermen. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at two animals that definitely look terrifying. But the question is, do we have anything to fear from them? Let's just call this number two, Monsters Among Us. Today's image, or rather images, are quite disturbing indeed. The first looks like the gold of the sarlacc, while the other looks like some demonic monkey. The question is, do these animals really exist? Well, the second image is quite easy to explain. It's a baboon. It's hairless, yes, but still a baboon. They certainly look terrifying, but do we have anything to fear from them? The short answer is yes, there are certain baboons that are very aggressive, hairless or otherwise. They become aggressive primarily when they feel threatened, or if they feel any of their family group is threatened as well. When encountering these dangerous, dangerous creatures, it's better to just stay away, don't do anything. The sarlacc looking thing is actually the insides of the mouth of the leatherback turtle. Aside from having the gold from hell, leatherbacks are also famous for being the only turtle species that doesn't have a hard shell, rather possessing a covering that's more akin to leather, hence the name. 
The absolutely disgusting and disturbing mouth has a purpose, though, and it's not to punish sinners. They feed exclusively on jellyfish, and these papaplay, as they are called, help them get a firm grip on their slippery prey. So, the short answer for this one? No, they are no danger to us. They're just really hard to look at, honestly. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Cthulhu Larva Cthulhu, a creator one of great power, that lies in his death-like slumber beneath the Pacific Ocean in his sunken city of Lyanna. He remains a dominant presence in the eldritch genies on our world. Pray not that he rise, for if he does, then all cease. Most importantly, he's a work of fiction created by no other than H.P. Lovecraft himself, which he introduced in the short story, The Call of Cthulhu. And this terrifying little creature due to its demonic and alien-like look was named after it. Its other name is not that epic. Also known as the Sea Pig, this tiny pink creature is actually a baby deep sea cucumber and is quite harmless to humans. They're normally found 1,000 to 4,000 meters below sea level eating mud, algae, and other debris on the ocean floor. And yes, for those who are asking, they also feed on human remains that just so happen to drop down into their territory. Sea pigs are very prolific and can be found in every ocean of the world. Which terrifying animal will give you nightmares tonight? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about anything terrifying? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. Again, thanks for watching everybody and I will see you all next time. Later everybody.